Oh my god, that robot just kicking that zombie's ass. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this, this is awesome. Zombie versus robot. Initiating pacification protocol. Pacification? What did I do, dog? I was just hanging out. I was just hanging out. But why? <gasps> You're alive again. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Pamela. I'm your host, the bird, known as Falcon. This right here is a game I've been expecting for such a very long time, and I finally have access to it here today. As a matter of fact, you guys do as well. It is on Steam Early Access as of today. Now, before you run off, you might want to pick this up for yourself. Give me a little bit of time here to explain to you what's possibly wrong with the game right now before you make a decision on it yourself. Uh, first and foremost, what is this game all about? It essentially boils down to a survival crafting game, which is nothing new. There are a dime a dozen these days. However, what drew me to this game was the fact that it is indeed a utopian survival crafting game. And what I mean by that is that essentially the setting is after, or not after, but it's during a perfect utopia. You know where I'm talking about, right? Where there's no disease, everybody's equal, there's no hatred, technologically advanced, you name it, right? Those sort of environments have always intrigued me because it feels very subtly creepy, you know, where everybody is so perfect. And sometimes people are just devoid of feelings and emotions and they don't really have personalities. So I've always been intrigued by that sort of setting. And this game right here is all about that. However, this is taking place after a disease got rampant and loose and it's turned people into not zombies. And well, we're not to call them zombies, but they're technically zombies. So... We have a, a crafting survival game with zombies, possibly or not. But what's really cool about it is the actual environment. Now, what's not cool about it here at the moment is that since it is day one, tons and tons of issues with crashing. I have crashed so many times trying to, like, you know, get a recording for this game up and running. And number two, um, the load times are really terrible. So you might want to give this a couple of days before you go in it and, like, you know, pick it up for yourself. Keep an eye on the updates before you actually, you know, make a decision on it yourself. But... All that said and done, let's get into the game over here and get the ball rolling. But for now, I, I will tell you what I do know. So let me go back to my gun here. Let's go ahead and scan you. And you're going to be locked. What this means is that we could actually hack it open. So the hacking thing is a little bit annoying. we got to do this. And you might, you're going to want to stop this, obviously, where the cursor is going to be at. So let's get that one. Got that one. Okay, we, we lucked out. Now, you see, there's a, there's a security response thing right there as well. I think if you fail enough times, maybe you alert the system and something bad happens, but we're trying to avoid that from happening. Oh, we got a shield already. That's actually pretty cool. To my understanding, all the items are actually dynamic, so every time you play, items will be randomly placed, obviously. So let's pick up everything over here. This is going to be a shield. This is something I have not seen beforehand. So I should be able to equip you, right? Shield. Equip. Left, okay. So you block with left out. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, I'll, I'll have to learn that. I have to get comfortable with that. So, that's equipped now. Let's actually pop this bad boy open right here. And let's see what to expect. Let me go back. My flashlight is on indeed. Alrighty. So the atmosphere itself is really cool. The game is actually really dark though, so keep that in mind. I'll try to like maybe up the gamma a little bit in um, editing. But there's no gamma option in the settings, so I can't make this any lighter than it is right now. So... I'm not sure what the disease is, but it looks like their bones are like popping out of their bodies, which is actually kind of really eerie. And this right here just freaked me out to no end the first time I saw it. I was like, what the hell? So you can see like weird bones or protrusions just kind of popping out of them. And that's all we can do here with this one. Is that food over here? I think this might be food. Let me just go around you. That is indeed food. Great. A couple more rooms for us to check out over here. Oh yeah, let's actually listen to this meanwhile. Shortly after I awoke, I asked the technicians why I couldn't feel my hands. Their blank faces offered no answers. And that's going to be Pamela, who apparently is the, the AI that the, I guess, the society built to run stuff, I guess. And I guess we'll be, like, hearing a lot from her as we actually progress here. So is that another room right here? It does seem to be the case. Pop this open. Alright, so let's see. We also have ourselves a laptop. Emergency broadcast. Garrison official. Alert. Possible widespread contamination. Many reports have been received in the recent days that are indicating a possible affliction of unknown origin and effect. We are advising residents to remain within their home whenever possible and to maintain distance with all unnecessary individuals. 
Arc Medical and Biostera are currently investigating the scope of the contamination and have asked anyone with these symptoms to immediately report to our clinic. Chronic migraines, fatigue, stiffness, soreness of joints, abnormal growths. It is asked that you please remain calm. Any and all the illnesses will be quickly resolved once we discover the root cause of the incident. Yeah, I don't think you um quite did that though. Just throwing it out there, right? Oh good, another one of you. Okay. Well, we're about to leave the area that I'm kind of comfortable with. So I don't know what to expect beyond this door over here. So now we're going into freakiness area for me. And I am highly worried about what to run into over here. God damn, this game is so dark. It, like, it works to its advantage, definitely, but for YouTube videos, I feel like I'm going to be, like, you know, it's going to be a hindrance for a lot of you guys watching, especially, like, on phones and tablets and stuff like that. All right, so we have another one of you here. I'd like to imagine you're not going to come to life suddenly and attack me, right? Let's hope that's the case, so... Nothing over here. I see something glowing and shiny. What are you? Oh, more credits? Okay. Cool. Well, at least we're picking up money to buy whatever we can buy down the line. And you were frozen in this very unnatural state. Oh, good God almighty, what happened to you? Oh, that's disturbing as all hell. Pamela, talk to me. A new wing was added to ARC Medical. The permits state it is to further research the decaying genetic material found in residents. Locked. Oh my god. Why is everything locked in this game? Is there like such a problem with thievery here in a perfect utopia? Oh, we gotta lock everything down. Like, why? Like, people here in the current world that we live in don't even lock stuff. Like, a lot of people don't even lock their front door. Here, everything's locked. What is it this time? Something other than a shield would be very nice. What the hell is this? This is going to be the utility. Visor Mitra. Okay. Let's pick this up. How am I doing with my hunger and thirst, by the way? Oh, we're kind of, kind of hungry here. Let's go to the data pad. Inventory. Do I have any food? I think you're supposed to be food. Oh, we have this hot... Is that a hot... It's a chum dog. <laughs> okay, we'll have the chum dog for now. And I think I'm a bit thirsty, so let's have this orange juice as well. I mean, when you have a hot dog or a chum dog, you gotta have something to take it down with, right? And that's looking a little bit better. Oh, and let's find out what, what was that item I just picked up right now. Inventory, let's see. That's gonna be this. Are you anything I can do anything with? I equipped you. You're a visor. You're an optional character, HUD. Uh, let's also use this shield that looks a bit cooler than the other one, maybe? I don't know. Oh, wow. It does give us a visor. Is there any sort of, like, reason to have this or what? <laughs> does it make the game lighter? That'd be very nice. Uh, I don't think it does, though. Is that a robot? Excuse me, robot. Are you... Oh, God. <laughs> Why is everything locked? See, this at least makes sense. It seems to be like a register or something. You might want to lock that, but... Trash cans locked? I mean, I don't get it. Okay. What's in here? Ooh. Security helmet. Storage upgrade. Oh, that sounds good. And impact catalyst. Okay, let's pick everything up over here. And that sounds actually good enough for me to equip, especially inventory upgrades. I love those. So, um, you go... That's fine. Let me turn you... Okay, for some reason now it just wants to remove itself. So equip the... the armor. Um... Can I use you? You're a power. Okay, I think you gave me more power, which is great. And let's see... Inventory upgrade. Just one extra spot is what it gave me? <laughs> oh, how amazing. Okay, we have a hallway. Now things are probably going to get a bit more interesting, right? More credits. Seven of them. A door which I can't access. Alright. A little bit of lag. A little bit of performance. Uh oh Okay, you're just the same type of frozen things. You know what? I'm gonna... Shield Pylon. Oh, this will be something that we could use for our future base, I guess. But, um... We'll worry about that later. Is that food? Hey, we found some food on the floor. Biscuit! Who just threw a... Ugh, oh, you're locked. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna continue moving along here. I know it might bother a few of you people here thinking, asking, like, why aren't you picking stuff up? But, I mean, do you want me to just, like, unlock stuff the entire video? Uh, left button to attack. Oh, I see somebody moving there, alright. Okay, 
So we're about to probably run into our very first Zambro, and this is the... Oh my god, it's a really cool looking shield, at least. Alright. What's happening over here? Hold space to dodge. What are you fighting? You're fighting a robot that's like apparently has clipped through the world. Oh! No, 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 no! Why don't you keep fighting the keep fighting the the the, the robot? Yeah. Nice. That zombie just kicked me? What are you, a martial arts expert before you turn into a zombie? Alright, it's down now. Well, that was eerie. W where's this robot? Oh, this is a robot. You, you, you got stuck there, huh, buddy? Oh yeah, it sucks to be you. I don't think the, the, the robots attack you, if I'm right. That's what I remember reading, so I, I'll leave that alone. Uh, we have healing. We have fertilizer for, I guess, making our own food down the line. And a canteen for water. Very cool. So we'll pick everything up over here. Really cool looking shield, too. I like it. Alright, so that's pretty good. Um, let's see. How are we doing when it comes to our health, though, I wonder? You know, I, I feel like I blocked everything from... I guess it doesn't block every attack. It just kind of minimizes the damage, maybe? Because I feel like I blocked everything from that attack. Zomboid right there. So, whatever. I guess it doesn't, like, completely hold everything. Can you stop coming off all the time, Vice? Or, like, for real? Uh, let's get ourselves a... A squid biscuit. Yeah! Have that. And a bubbly soda. Should I drop a heal on myself, too? I'm not sure if I should. I think we're fine with the heals. Okay. Um, visor for real now. Like, just just hang out there, please. Okay, I don't want to have you on. I don't think it really does make a difference, but whatever. I'm kind of more comfortable with the visor off. So that Zambro is dealt with. Although, how they react and act makes them very unzombie like I mean, those goddamn spin kicks. Some really serious martial arts expertise on that Zamboy right there, I gotta tell you. Alright. So, you go down this way. You got this over here. What are you supposed to be? Oh, another scanning object. Okay. Nothing in you. What about down here? Okay, so you were blocking this area off. What the hell is that? That's a robot. Okay. Robots are cool with us as long as I leave them alone. That's not going to be cool with us, though. Um, Robot man, there is a zombie there. Can you deal with that zombie for me? Oh, God. I'm stuck myself. <laughs> so let's get around. Zombie. Or, or robot. <gasps> Remain within containment field. No, not me. No, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. That robot, that was a zombie who attacked you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. That robot just kicking that zombie's ass. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this, this is awesome! Zombie versus robot. Initiating pacification protocol. Pacification? What did I do, dog? I was just hanging out! I was just hanging out! But why? <gasps> You're alive again! Okay, okay, okay. Things have gone really terrible here. Why is that zombie alive again? I I, I thought I. Do you not kill it? Do you just knock it out, I guess? Oh, no, that's another zombie, because the one that I knocked out is right here. So you guys just respawn? I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm a bit confused about that. Well, either way, it's, it's um, busy with the robot, so I'll leave it alone. That robot didn't follow me here, did he? Okay. You know what? Let's, um, <laughs> let's just leave. Let's just go ahead and leave. Could you possibly any f be any darker right now? Oh, good. Oh, good. This is like body... I'm like in the middle of like where they were tossing all the bodies at. Oh, there goes that robot. Should I close the door behind me? I think that would be a splendid idea, huh? Yeah. <laughs> can't follow me now, can ya? Oh, no, you can't. Alright. So I think we're momentarily safe here. 
<laughs> I don't know what to tell you about this game. Like, I love the setting. It's a bit too dark for my liking. Like, I understand it should be dark, but fuck, man. Give me a little bit of a small gamma option here for one. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I love the setting, though. Everything else, I'm very iffy on. But it's a first day release. I'm going to keep an eye on the updates and we'll see what happens. I feel like wrapping it up here because I have no idea what else to do. Let's see. Is there... Let me look at the map here. Okay, so... There's a couple of, like, markers, it does seem. Maybe? Those arrows seem to be moving like I should be following it. So maybe we go down this side? Okay. Um, how do I put you away quickly in case I get attacked that way? I see. Oh boy. Like, I'll tell you this much, the setting is definitely on point. There is a good game here, but, um... I think I could get these, um, crashes on lockdown, and the loading times not being so terrible, this could be pretty interesting. Okay. I want to go check out that little body memorial thing over here. This looks very intriguing to me. I thought that was moving over there for a second. We are all infected. We are all infected. That's so crazy, man. Yeah, this, there's definitely a good setting here. What the hell is this? Oh, it's Pamela again, I think. It's a light. What is this? Cyanotubes. I need a, a cyanotube repair kit, huh? So I gotta craft that or find it at some point. Originally, Jacob would converse with me every day, even insisting on being called my creator. I only understood the concept years later. This is a window, Falcon. You cannot go through windows, Falcon. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Please don't awaken from those bodies, okay? Just remain the way you are. So I guess we just follow this little red... Road seems to be taking us out to the next area over. Some weird lights over there. God almighty. <laughs> I don't know what to ex What is that over there? That's gotta be a robot, right? Alrighty. Look, robot, I'm not sure why your friend attacked me, but I'm cool, man. What the hell is that? No, no, don't, don't attack it. Don't attack it. I just... Is that, like, lights for the system? What is this? Lights on? Oh, I would love lights on! But you're shut down completely. How do I turn you on? Hey, buddy. Do you know how to turn the lights on over here? Okay. Okay. I wasn't asking you for help, I was asking the robot for help. Okay, so was, I'm cool with you, right? Friends? Can I fix you? Can you save me? Oh. You, you just float and, and hang out there, I guess, so... Keep looking for us to find a way to turn the lights back on, because that'd be great. Alright, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, hey. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see some more, keep letting me know. I'm going to keep an eye on the updates here and see if, um, you know, we can stabilize ourselves here to kind of make a little bit of series of this. I, I like the setting so far, I just don't know what the hell to do. There's no tutorial, there's no nothing. Just, just go out there and, you know, have fun and see if we can survive long enough, maybe. Uh, there should be more to it. So I'm going to try to figure things out over here. I hope you enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.